Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, let's say, the next seven days, okay? So what do we have for Taurus for the next seven days? So I think it's like Tuesday when I'm recording this, but it's whenever you watch it. So you watch whenever, okay? Let's just say it's for October, but the next seven days. But anyhow, what do we... It's a Taurus update, okay? What do we have for Taurus? Taurus always goes first because Taurus is my sign. Um, I had somebody <laughs> suggest I do a different sign first. That doesn't happen, I'm sorry. It just is not. The only time that ever happens is very seldom. Uh, very, it's if, the only thing, I think the only time that has ever happened was uh, if I put a man before me and I did his sign before myself. Um, other than that, I don't. So if you ever see me do, when I start a new segment, a sign before mine, I, it's probably a man that I'm dealing with, just so you know. This card just fell out. Candle, you will be shown the way. So you will be shown the way. You're going to be shown. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Cobweb, I'm not going to look at the next card. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you are protected from negative forces beyond your control. And... You're going to be shown the way, which is pretty interesting. There's some sort of protection here for you. My tablecloth is wrinkled. What do we have for Taurus? If you need to be shown the way, you must be in some sort of situation where it's dark. You know, anyhow, Taurus. Ooh, drop the weight, drop the weight. So there's some sort of weight that you need to drop that you've been carrying. I'm gonna show you what's on the bottom. Wedding vows. So I don't know how that plays a part, but obviously it's here for a reason. So, you will be shown the way. Interesting. Oh, we had a card fall off on the floor. I'm gonna have to see what it, ooh. Six months, six months. I wasn't gonna get any more, but I guess I am, I was. Something is gonna happen in six months. So maybe you've got something that you're carrying that you need to work on, that you need to let go of, obviously with the drop the weight, within the next six months. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Taurus? Protected from negative forces beyond your control. There's some sort of protection here. So I don't know if, if some, for some of you, you've been rejected because rejection is God's protection. Maybe you need to focus on yourself right now. You know, you're fo maybe you need to focus on yourself. Do you really need to be with somebody when you should be focusing on yourself? I mean, that's a question you need to ask yourself. What do we have? What do we have for Taurus? <gasps> five of Swords. This says Five of Blades. So... Looks like it looks like we have a well. It looks like it's a hostile situation. It looks like we have somebody here that's angry, that is upset. I'm sorry, my cat is trying to get in. Um, anyway, I'll, but it's not common sense for me to let that cat in because she'd be laying right in front of me. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Anyhow, uh, five of swords. So this is some sort of defeat. Uh, argument we have an argument here we have somebody here that is unwilling to budge this person is very very stubborn they're angry they're unwilling to look at things from a new perspective um, you may be angry you may be angry you may be needy you may this is like so definitely angry you know I'm not sure if this is a chef you could be dealing with a chef I don't know or a cook or somebody that cooks a lot 
This is somebody that is unwilling to budge by the looks of things. You get, you're dealing with somebody that is very, very stubborn. And I wasn't going to show you what was on the bottom of this deck, remember? I said I'm not going to show you what's on the bottom. Or I'm not, I'm not, I showed you what was on the bottom. It was protected from negative forces. And I said I'm not going to look at the card underneath it, but when you take the card off, it's hard not to see it. But I wasn't going to include it in the reading, but I'm, this time I'm just going to pick up the whole deck because I don't want to have to look underneath it to keep going because we'd have to go through the whole deck. Um, we have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So it's either you that is unwilling to change or it's someone you're dealing with. And I know it is super easy, look at that finger right there, to point the finger at everybody but yourself, right? That is so easy to do. Maybe, maybe, and it's interesting that I, when, I, when, I, when I started this, I said something about focusing on yourself. Don't point the finger at them. Point the finger at you. What do I need to change? What do you need to change? When you're pointing the finger at everybody but yourself, you're in denial of your own faults. Unwilling to budge. It's their fault. Victim mentality here. You, you, need to drop something that you've been holding on to that's been weighing you down. Take time, don't rush, come up with a plan and follow through. Stop pointing fingers at people. It's all their fault. And I know somebody's gonna write in the comments, I don't do that. The minute you write that in a comment, you're doing it. person's angry they're upset they're unwilling to budge and nobody wants to deal with them anymore it's like you're unwilling to give you're unwilling to budge you're so stubborn it always has to be your way <laughs> that's nice who wants to be around that well it's not you right it's not me it's not me it's not you either it's the other person right takes two to tango now doesn't it anyhow you need to be willing to look at things from new perspectives. You and me need to be willing to cooperate or nobody's going to want to work with you, right? You have to be willing to learn new things and not be so stubborn and not be so set in your ways. I mean, hey, Taurus is a fixed sign. I mean, we, we know that. We have this mule here and I see the stubbornness. I mean, if you are unwilling to budge, then nobody is going to want to work with you in any capacity, whether it's at your job or friends or family or a partnership. If you're unwilling to look at things from a new perspective and it always has to be your way, then... You're going to live a lonely life because nobody's going to want to be with you or around you or work with you. You will be shown the way. You will be shown the way. You are protected, but you have to be willing to be open, open to change. Fives are about change. They really are. They're about conflict that brings change. You have the next six months to drop this burden, this weight, this baggage, this mindset, because the Five of Swords is a mindset that everything has to be done a certain way. Cooperate. Cooperate. 
I also feel like you need to eat more fruit and vegetables. Some of you want to lose weight. We got drop the weight in this card. There's a lot of fruit and vegetables. Maybe you need to maybe you need to get cooking. Maybe you need to cook healthy. You know, you need to eat healthier if you want to lose this weight. Fruit and vegetables, fruit and vegetables, fruit and fruit and vegetables. That's all we got on this card is fruit and vegetables. So you need some fruit and vegetables. Okay, well there we go. Oh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. The moon reversed. Two of Swords. Let's get the rest of the card. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Oh, chariot, Cancer. This is their side. Now we're going to go on to yours. Um, Ace of Wands reversed. Four of Cups. And Seven of Pentacles reversed. What? It, what what's going on right now is the Hermit. So this is introspection. Uh, soul searching you're probably going to be doing some soul searching re reflecting reflecting on yourself reflect this is a card of self reflecting on your health i do see health i see reflecting on uh your consciousness you know you're becoming consciously aware you're going through a period of enlightenment it's almost like uh planning planning your next move going within being alone you some of you are going to be all alone okay you're this is alone doing it alone you're on your own uh going within and reflecting about your next move thinking about your next move thinking about your future planning for the future um so i feel like that's what's going to be going on in the next seven days is reflecting and planning and um going through some sort of awakening of some sort maybe you've gotten a wake-up call or something now it's inter interesting you will be shown the way we have the candle we also have the light here so you are you, there is some sort of light that that is coming your way you're this is like coming out of darkness i think you've been in a dark period and i feel like this dark period is majorly caused by your own stubbornness your own inability to surrender, to admit defeat, or to make the changes that you need to make, okay? It's not the other person, so don't point the finger at anybody but yourself. Nobody forces you to overeat. Nobody forces you to date that person. Nobody forces you to work that job. Nobody forces you to do anything. You're not forced. You choose. And nobody forces the person that rejected you, whether it was a person or if you were rejected. They, didn't, they weren't forced by their other person. They made that choice themselves. So don't blame the other person, okay? Anyhow, I feel like in your... In your position, I see I see very discontent. I feel like you're you're in a place where you're really, 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 really not happy. Okay? There's a there's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Maybe you're ignoring an opportunity for love. This is in your side, okay? This is emotionally bankrupt. Okay. I feel like you um, are focusing on a loss. You're focusing on something that used to make you happy. Um, that used to be a lot of fun and I feel like there's some sort of not wanting it anymore or somebody you know or you're not getting it anymore you're or you're wanting something more maybe somebody's not giving you the love that they used to give you you know they're not investing seven of Pentacles uh, are reversed on above that so I feel like you're, right now you're not really investing you're not putting in any effort that's where where you're at right now but you're doing okay the seven of Pentacles reversed you're not doing anything you're not you're not investing in anything you're not nurture anything you're not nurturing anything you're not taking care of anything you need to plant your seed someplace else it's like you're watering a dead tree you can't make something come back that is already gone okay if it's gone it's gone it's gone it's gone um i feel like there's a lack of passion there's a lack of desire i mean the ace of wands reversed as well down in your external i feel like you are feeling uh 
dissatisfied. This is something that didn't come to fruition. Weighed down. Definitely weighed down. You are weighed down by something. You're weighed down by something and you're really not happy with your current circumstance. And it's for some of you, it's literal weight. The Ace of Wands reversed is weighed down. Then we have dropped the weight. Seven of Pentacles reversed is not putting in any effort. I feel like you're just not, you're not taking care of anything. You're being unrealistic. You, some of you may not be practical even. Um, there's something here that you have invested in. I don't know if it's, it's, it could be maybe three or four years. I don't know you've invested in this. And now it's not growing. It's not going anywhere. And you're, maybe you're sad because, you know, it's like you're not getting what you thought out of it. You know, um, there's no passion, there's no desire, there's no attraction to whatever this is. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that isn't very attracted to you or you're not attracted to them. There's a lack of attraction here with the Ace of Wands reversed. I feel like what we got here in the middle, I don't know if we have somebody here that is unfaithful or they're just not interested. They're not interested in long-term commitment. This is somebody that has no plan of committing or no plan of uh, building a strong foundation. So, but you know, this is a signifier card. So I feel like you're at a, you're at a place where there's no movement. There's a, you're at a complete stalemate right now. I do feel like there's some disloyalty here. There's unfaithfulness. There could definitely be a third party situation with the four of cups and maybe you've been ignoring it. Maybe you've been ignoring that there's a third party situation, you know, and trying to just pretend that everything is okay. I don't think that everything is okay. I don't, I don't. Um, I think something is hidden. You're either dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, could also be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, there is somebody that you are dealing with that is really not interested. They are, this is, and it could definitely be an ex. This person is a player or they're not, or if they're not a player, they're not interested in giving you anything solid, anything stable. Um, this person drops out. They're cheap. They may even have, um, issues with their insecurities you know they're very insecure with themselves so they need constant attention um you're dealing with somebody that um, may not also may also not um feel as though they're adequate or they're not adequate or they don't put in enough effort maybe they don't make money or they don't work or they're lazy or they're unemployed or they're a sponger you're definitely dealing with somebody that is unstable and insecure but i feel like the you know we we call in people typically that mirror ourselves <laughs> So, I mean, this is right in the middle, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. I do see that you have it, and this isn't going to be for everybody. This reading is not going to be for everybody, but I can see that we have somebody here that has given up. You know, they haven't been investing in something. Um, they've been ignoring an opportunity. They've been ignoring an opportunity, maybe for self-love or something, focusing on a third party situation that they're not even attracted to. There's not even any desire to be in it anymore, but there's been so much investment. It's hard to drop it. It's hard to let it go. I feel like, uh, there's definitely disloyalty or unfaithfulness or laziness or, um, no long-term plan here we got there's no long-term plan for commitment here and i feel like you need to plan plan another direction i feel like you need to do some soul searching go within by yourself take a time out be by yourself think about your future think about what you want for the future go within go go your own direction for a little while i feel like um you whoever you're dealing with is emotionally guarded okay whoever you're dealing with is is i don't know if they're blocking you or they're blocking their emotions or they're ignoring their feelings or something like that this is ignoring and blocking and refusing um, there's some sort of inability to see the truth that whoever you're dealing with is torn they're torn in two different directions they have two options um, they have some sort of divided loyalty and they don't know what to do. So you're dealing with somebody that has most definitely been hiding some feelings or they've been hiding something from you. 
Um, this person, uh, I don't know, if you're dealing with somebody who has a mental imbalance or they have some sort of addictions, this could be somebody that is extremely sneaky, very deceptive. Um, illusion, you know, lives in an illusionary state of mind. Uh, you know, they live in fantasy land, you know, they don't, they don't, they definitely block things, they hide things, very, very hidden energy. You're dealing with somebody who hides things a lot. They hide things. And it just could be addictions. It could be addictions or it could definitely be a partner because the two of pentacles, I mean, the two of swords is right underneath it. Two of swords is partnerships. And it's a choice between two. You know, torn. You're dealing with somebody that is torn in two different directions. And they're and they're hiding they're hiding something they may be traveling somebody is traveling they're going somewhere in their car you know and it's I don't know if this person drives a vehicle they drive a vehicle for a living you know they deliver things or they're in some sort of uh, they're driving they and they go places in their car whoever you're dealing with um, I don't know if somebody has is blocking you or you have blocked them um, they're definitely driving somewhere and they're hi they have some secrets. You're dealing some, with somebody that has some secrets. And I feel like you know it. I feel like your, your intuition has been telling you this and you've been ignoring it. You've been ignoring your intuition. Yeah, somebody's definitely been ignoring their intuition. There's a need for, for you to find your willpower and your discipline and your mental strength to leave this behind, this part of your life behind. <clears throat> but there's been no effort. It's like you've you haven't found a way. You haven't you haven't put in any effort to release your fear to remove yourself from this situation I feel like you may be dealing with somebody that um, is gonna I feel like somebody is gonna be giving you a reality check I feel like you may have uh, been in some sort of denial I don't know if you've been in some sort of denial over a situation. Whoever you're dealing with is going to give you a reality check. Either they're going to block you or they're going to stop communicating with you or they may even they may tell you that they're moving in a new direction. They're going someplace else or that they're moving. Somebody's moving the chariot. They're going in a new direction. They're 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 leaving something behind. And I feel like it has to do with fear. It has to do with fear because the Two of Swords is held back by fear and the Moon card reversed is a release of fear. So I do feel like we have, and the Chariot is replacing fear with faith and moving forward. But that is your person. That's not you. Okay, I know you guys always, you know, I always want the positive part of the reading. I'm going to give the shitty side to the other person. It doesn't work like that. Okay? Unless you're in fantasy land. And we do have somebody here who is in fantasy land. That's the truth. Absolutely. 100%. We do have somebody here that is in illusion. Okay, they, they've they been living in an illusionary state of mind, blocking the truth. Okay, this is a reality check. Okay, a reality check is definitely coming. Um, there's probably going to be an argument with the Five of Swords, an argument. Um, there could also be a reality check coming in regards to health. Okay, there could be somebody hasn't been putting in much effort to the health, to their health. They haven't been investing. They haven't been uh, listening. They haven't been listening to the signs, paying attention to their gut. They haven't been eating healthy. They can get a reality check. Okay, there could be some sort of, uh, I don't know, we may have some heartburn here. Uh, we may have some heart problems. I mean, I'm just being honest with that two of swords. I mean, I don't know. We definitely have somebody here that needs to stabilize. They need to stabilize. They need to start putting in effort. They need to start taking care of themselves. You need to start taking care of yourself. Stop blaming other people for your setbacks. Get in the driver's seat. Take charge. 
If you need help, go get it. The chariot is a card of willpower and discipline and uh, strength of mastering emotions and going in new directions. It's a card of transformation. So I feel like, you, but I feel like you've been in denial. You've been in denial, and I feel like you've <laughs> two of swords. And I feel like you've been blaming somebody else. It's like, oh, it's all their fault. No, it's not all their fault. Nobody forces you to do anything. It's all your fault. Some of you may need to drink more water. You don't get enough water. You need to drink a lot of water. You need to drink more water. It's like you're ignoring. I feel like for a lot of you, it's like you're ignoring investing in yourself. It's like you're investing in something that isn't growing when you should just be investing in yourself. Good luck. 